Well, the previous post sparked quite a lot of interest in transparency. And I've reloaded the very same drawing. And if I click on View and Transparent Render, we can turn on, as it, as it was in the previous post, Transparent Render. What that means is if we pick, say, the lawn indicator there, you can see transparency has been set at 100. The norm is 255. But of course, when we go back here to Transparent Render and turn that off, you can see the natural colour uh, of the, the grass. It's set at 135, So in order to set the colour, the designer has gone, dragged down, selected the colour, gone to True Colour, select True Colour, and has picked a colour in this zone. We'll cancel from there because I don't wish to change it. So this drawing has entities that have had transparency associated with them. So let's turn transparent render display back on. If we focus our attention on these symbols in the lower part of the design, and let's pick this one here and go edit block, and we'll pick this part here. Can you see its transparency is set at 175? And let's close the block editor. What that means is that if this symbol here is above the adjacent symbol, then you'll be able to see the understory planting below the taller planting. If in fact we said take this symbol here, go to tools and draw order and send it under an object, we could do that. <coughs> And now the larger object is under the other one. So it's a, it's seeing transparency is somewhat tricky. So let's put it back. We want that one. Draw order and above this object. So because this object here has transparency set to the outer color, we're seeing the understory underneath. Well, that technique has some interesting application. We zoom out a little and you see there's a very large tree centered here. We pick the symbol representing it and we say, let's edit that block. We could set the color of the outside and we'll say select color, true color. We'll imagine this is some sort of rather soft yellowy color, very faint and go OK and then we'll fill it and then we'll close and you see that blocks out everything that's underneath it. So let's pick that again and we'll edit the block. We'll pick this we'll, while we're at it. We'll give it a border color of say 251 and we'll say yes this entity has a border but what we will do is go to transparency We'll set this to be, let's say, uh, we'll try 50 to start with. Remember, 255 is the max, 50, so we're running at about 20%. So let's close the block editor. And now we can see the symbol, but we can see all of the uh, geometry underneath. Now, you might argue that, that, that we could even come down and we could cut that transparency by half and bring that down to 25 we we'll probably have a better effect. So now we have a range of transparencies in this drawing and this will flow over to the drawing sheet. Now when we print this we have two ways of printing it. We demonstrated in the previous post that you can use print to a PDF writer and we print to a bull zip writer and I'll show you the effect of that in a moment. But before I do I want to use GK Plus's special save to PDF. Now, take. I hope you you can remember. Let's just zoom in. This symbol here is above the adjacent one, and the symbol of the elm tree there is lightly tinted, so we can see everything underneath it. So what we're now going to do is, whoops, right click. We'll go File and Save As. No, no, we don't 
we want to save a as a PDF. We're going to do a window and high resolution, so I won't worry about the logo and technical information. Let's just make a we'll put this on the desktop. We'll call it test one. So it's test one PDF. And then we'll save. And that should start my Acrobat reader, which it has. And can you see we are seeing, let me zoom in here. I don't have line weights on, which is why it's relatively faint. So if I do the marquee zoom here, let's pick this area here. You can see we are seeing transparency using this technique. We can improve that plot by turning on line weights and printing with line weights on. So let's try that. Line weights on, file and save as PDF. We'll set up exactly the same window. And notice that the, this print is, is test, test one. Let's overwrite it again. It gets generated very quickly. Should be slightly better definition this time, and it certainly is. Let's go full screen, new, full screen. And then I'll go control plus to zoom in. You can see we've got a very nice looking um, plot. We can see transparency, but it's not as crisp as you would get with a proper PDF writer. Now what I'm going to do is to go back into the drawing and print to the bull zip printer that I printed before. And I'll try and pick this very same area and hopefully be able to compare the two. Let's print the very same area using file and print. And we'll say window and pick. We'll pick much the same zone as we did before. And I've got the bullzip printer there. Um, I've got it set, I think, to A3, which is what this is. Uh, and I'll say just for the moment, fit to paper. Um, and centering the print. And we'll say OK. So the bullzip printer is being used to print this as a PDF file. And normally with PDF files, you'll get much higher resolution. In fact, in the Bullzip printer, you can change the resolution and make it higher if you want. And so here's the result. Can you see what has happened? Although the resolution is much higher, let's go in a little. And we've got a much crisper result. Produces quite a large file. And can you see that? Our larger tree with that transparency obliterates everything underneath. It works okay down the bottom here because it's not really a problem. The tree, although it does cover up the wall of the building, which may not be quite what you're after. So this to me is an unsatisfactory result. If I needed to show that see-through look, then I'll use file and save as PDF and use the custom system that's built into um, into GK Plus, the trade-off is you don't get a resolution that's quite as high. What I'll now do is remove that transparency and just show you the final print without it. Here is the result and as you can see here we don't have any transparency. There's our first symbol we were looking at. It overlays the one underneath it but you can't see any part of the understory and I've removed the transparency and fill from that upper symbol so that we can see through it. So to sum up, if you want to show transparency and you want to see understory planting below it, we don't have a PDF writer, a high resolution PDF printer that can handle transparency. You have to use the special tool that we've created for you, file and save as PDF. So it's just a matter of being aware of the pros and cons of these different approaches.